can I believe in science and God? Uh, yeah, of course. And, you know, I think, you know, science, I mean, don't get me wrong, man. It explains a lot of things on this earth, right? But it doesn't explain everything. And it, it, I don't think it will be able to explain everything. And sometimes science gets it wrong as well. Um, even um, actual scientists would tell you, no, nothing is definite, right? Everything is still ongoing and we're still learning and we still need to do research, you know, on certain topics. You know, um, if you think about the brain, we, we can use that as an example. Think about the brain. Right. Um, if you look up psychology, it is the study of the behaviors of the brain, but it doesn't actually tell you why your brain does what it does. Right. So science explains behaviors, but it can't really tell you why something is here. Right. It can't tell you why humans are able to manipulate the world differently. It explains the anatomy of us and it can say, yes, we are able to do so. But why are we able to do so? It don't have that answer. And I don't think it ever will. Just like with, with our brains, it doesn't have the answer to why my thoughts are different from your thoughts. Even my siblings, why my thoughts still would be different from theirs, right? It can tell you that a signal went off in the hypothalamus of the brain, but it doesn't tell you why you think the way you think why you feel the way you feel why you are the way you are when you're a baby and you're six months four months it won't be able to tell you what your first word will be or what the baby is thinking at that moment it can't tell you the thoughts going on right so you don't have to you know worry it's all right you can believe in both 